Hey, how's it going everyone? Philip Schaefer here, and in this video, I'm gonna be talking about exactly how much money I've made so far from my very first SaaS or software as a service application. For those of you that aren't that familiar with what a SaaS app is, it is essentially a software paid for via some sort of subscription fee. Some very popular examples of SaaS businesses are companies like Netflix or Spotify, and those are more in the business to consumer space. And some popular business to business examples are companies like Shopify, or Adobe more recently with their various apps like Photoshop and Illustrator requiring a subscription to access. So later on in this video, I'll get into what my first SaaS app was and how I went about creating it. But for now, let's not waste any more time. Let's dive right into the numbers of how much money I've made so far from this particular application. Now for this particular SaaS business I run, I use Stripe as my payment processor so we can get a really good breakdown of the numbers via their reporting dashboards. And I essentially launched this application in September of 2018 and you can see that since then it has pulled in a little over $46,000 in revenue. Now in addition to the numbers you see here on the Stripe dashboard, at the very tail end of late 2018 I did also partner up with a few different people to do a quote unquote official launch on an affiliate platform called JVZoo. Now, this wasn't the biggest launch in the world by any stretch of the imagination, but we did manage to bring in about $30,000 in revenue over a eight day period. Now, that might sound pretty good, but launches typically have a lot of costs associated with them. One of the biggest being the commissions that you have to pay out to your affiliates. So right away, we can slice off 50% of the gross revenue from that launch. Then after we have to account for payment processor fees, prize money payouts and other random expenses. So I was lucky to walk away from that launch with around $2,000 in net profit. So going back to the Stripe dashboard, another thing I wanna point out is that this is the gross revenue. After accounting for things like server costs, affiliate payouts and other random business expenses, the actual net profit here is probably closer to $40,000. So if we add together the small amount I made from that official launch event and the recurring revenue I've made so far here on Stripe, we're looking at a grand total of about $42,000. Meanwhile, if we look at the MMR or monthly recurring revenue here on the left, you can see it's hovering just above $1,300 at the time of this recording. So that means at this point in time, I'm pulling in roughly on average $1,300 to $1,400 per month, pretty much completely passively. And you'll probably notice with the MMR that we saw a big jump up at first, followed by a slower steady climb towards a peak, and then after after about September of 2019, the MMR started to decline. So what exactly happened in September of 2019 to cause this decline? Well, in early summer 2019, I made the conscious decision to start working on my next SaaS application in a completely different niche but I'll probably save that full story for a different video. But because I was no longer focusing on this first app besides the occasional bug fix or small feature addition, I essentially stopped all of my marketing efforts that had previously been slowly and steadily growing this app's numbers. That being said, despite not doing any marketing in over a year at this point, this app is still consistently bringing in passive recurring revenue each and every month. Now, depending on where you live in the world, this maybe isn't a ton of money. Here in New York City, where I live, it definitely isn't. But still, this app has effectively been covering my rent and then some for literally years now with a very minimal amount of upkeep and maintenance, so I can't complain. And that's kind of the beauty of SaaS apps, the subscription nature of them, because you only need to convince a potential customer to purchase from you once. It's not an active day-by-day -day struggle to keep getting more new customers or else risk going out of business. And the software aspect of this just sweetens the deal further. You essentially build the app once and you can reap the rewards passively going forward for extended periods of time. So that is effectively how much I've made for my very first SaaS app so far. Again, perhaps not mind melting numbers, but certainly a nice income boost. And it seems fairly likely that the income will continue to increase with time because again, it is a subscription service with existing customers. Now with the numbers out of the way, I'll give you guys a really quick background on what my SaaS app is and how I even got into creating these applications in the first place. So long story short, I'm kind of a fan of cryptocurrencies. 
Those that have been watching this channel from the beginning definitely know that. And back in early 2018, I was like, hey, I have an idea for a cryptocurrency related SaaS application, but I also had this problem in that I had no experience with creating these things. I did have prior programming experience and had even made a bunch of mobile apps and games for Android phones several years before, but it had literally been years since I had done any programming. And I had no experience with front-end web development, server-side programming, dealing with databases, etc. So I did what a lot of people do. I started with a Google search and slowly but surely I managed to get an MVP or minimum viable product of my SaaS idea put together. And in September of 2018, after months of hard work, I was able to launch Crypto Booster, my very first SaaS app. Now for time reasons, I won't dive too much into what this app does. If you wanna check it out, you can see it at www.cryptobooster.io. I'll leave a link in the description down below. But after I launched this app, I never really looked back. I've since gone on to launch a few other SaaS applications, which I'll save for other videos in the future. But it's definitely become the field that I want to establish my career in going forward. Something about the entire model is just very appealing to me. The fact that you can essentially build your app once, but are then able to leverage what you've built almost indefinitely going forward, and also potentially scale it to really high levels of income without needing to do a lot of things that you probably would need to do in more traditional businesses. And also the subscription nature of it that helps ensure a more passive recurring income without constantly having to hunt for new customers or do tons of business upkeep or maintenance. So with that said, I would definitely recommend the whole SaaS business model to anyone who wants to add some extra passive income to their bottom line and potentially even create a full-time income out of their idea one day. Especially if you have even just a bit of programming experience that really is enough to get started with building your idea because again, when I got started, I had literally never done any front-end web development, built out any server-side code, worked with databases, etc. And even if you don't have any programming experience, there are so many free resources available online today. It's truly never been easier to get started in my opinion. You don't need to pay tons of money or take classes at a college or university to learn how to code this stuff. Anyways, a few more things before I wrap up this video. Number one, if you want to get some more details about how I went about creating my first SaaS application in a bit of a deeper dive into the numbers and how much money I've made so far, etc. I do have a free case study on my website that I recommend checking out. I'll leave the link to that in the description down below. And also, if you're at all interested in building your very own SaaS app and you wanna get started right away, I do have a course which essentially walks you through building a fully fledged SaaS application in step-by-step -step detail. You'll essentially watch over my shoulder and follow along as we build a SaaS app with real world features from the ground up in literally just hours. So again, if getting into SaaS development is your thing, if you want to do that, I do recommend checking that course out. I'll leave the link to the course down in the description below as well. Lastly, guys, if you like this video and you want more content on SaaS business or passive income in general, definitely go ahead and subscribe and also hit that like button. With all that said, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.